As Ravens fans, uh, this season has been filled with a lot, a whole lot of bad news because this guy and that guy and this guy and that guy and the list goes on about who was getting injured next. And there was that popular saying that it was next man up, but we were almost starting to feel like at one point, like we ain't going to have no men left. But now things seem to be turning around and in a major way and the biggest part about this announcement to me in my eyes in my opinion is that the passing game without Rashad Bateman the passing game without Miles Boykin the passing game without those two has actually been going pretty well I know yesterday was rough for Hollywood he had the the, the three very 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 bad drops but besides that overall the passing game has been going pretty good. So I want you to just imagine, just really imagine, really just think about it. Think about the possibility of when a Rashad Bateman comes back, when a Miles Boykin comes back, Devin DuVernay still there, James Prochet is still there, and obviously Hollywood and Sammy Watkins. The passing game, um, it has been opened up a lot, a lot. And Hollywood has been... Uh, Sammy Watkins has been very beneficial to Hollywood and to actually have a, a receiver that teams respect opposite of you and of course still have Mark Andrews as well so it, everybody's not on you and Hollywood been getting open like crazy like crazy now we wish yesterday he would have came down with some more than passion but we, we know he's he gonna make up for it but anyway he's been open like crazy so, so just imagine now you got Hollywood, you got Sammy Watkins, you got Mark Andrews. They've been opening up the game for each other. But then you add a Rashad Bateman to that. Then you add a Miles Boykin to that. And then soon enough, you add a Nick Boyle to that too. Well, he's more so for the running game. But he does be making some clutch catches now. But um, it just it's, it's nice to see. So when John Harbaugh said it today... He said it so nonchalantly too, and he he knows we've been waiting for this news. He knows we've been asking for this news, like, and and I see it like every single video. Man, what, what's going on with Rashad Bateman? Any updates on Rashad Bateman? What's happening with Rashad Bateman? I was like, I don't know. They ain't said nothing about no Rashad Bateman. I ain't heard nothing. But with him saying that both Rashad Bateman and Miles Boykin were gonna be practicing this week, it was just, it was beautiful. Because this is what we've been waiting on. This is, this is some news that we just been so anxiously waiting to hear. That the Ravens first round draft. Because the Ravens, I know there were some Ravens fans that were like, man, every time we draft a receiver in the first round, they get hurt. What's going on, man? Are we cursed? No, they're not. It's just been unfortunate circumstances. That's it. Cause I, and then they, they went to comparing, even though my boy is, he's he's certified, my boy Rashad, Rashad Perryman. I almost called him Rashad Perryman, but my boy Rashad Perryman. They were like, oh man, last time with Rashad Perryman, he ended up getting hurt. That didn't work out. With Hollywood, he ended up getting hurt. It's, it's worked out, but he still ended up getting hurt. Um, But he played week one, so this is a little different. And then they're like, oh, Rashad Baby now, another first round wide receiver, he got hurt and he's missing time. So... It's um, it's fine, it's fine. And you know what? It's funny because timing is certainly everything. John Harbaugh, <laughs> John Harbaugh knows we be watching him, and he knows we be listening to what he be saying, and he he knows that even though my memory shot, some stuff that we remember we can remember a little bit. So we try to remember the most important things. But with John Harbaugh, we know that his whenever he spoke about injury. It wasn't always so accurate. And again, that's that's that was the beginning of the end for Bashar Perryman with the Ravens. I really do feel like, and of course, it was the on-field stuff too. But when Harbaugh spoke about his injury, he just, he put this extra enormous amount of pressure on him, on Bashar Perryman. And he, he set an expectation for fans like, okay, he's week to week. All right, we're straight. He's week to week. He'll be back soon. That's what Harbaugh said. But then... When he missed the rest of the year, it was like, oh, come on, Hobbs. But anyway, um, Harbaugh, when he spoke about Rashad Bateman, when he first had the uh, surgery, he was like, hey, he'll, he'll be back in September. 
I think he, he should be back in September. And a lot of us were like, mm. September? Groin injury? Mm, nah. Now, if he is, okay, cool. We ain't going to complain. But September? Mm, yeah, I don't, know all, I don't know about that one. But guess what? Harbaugh could end up being right at the same time with a lot of us are right, too. Because I didn't expect him to play in September. But Harbaugh said, hey, he'll be back in September. And with him practicing this week, tomorrow is Tuesday, and that's September 28th. Wednesday is September 29th, and Thursday is September 30th. Ravens game isn't until Sunday, October 3rd. So technically... He'll be back in September. He just won't play in September. So, Harbaugh, you got this one. Funny little wordplay there, but you got it. So, kudos to John Harbaugh for calling it. He let us know. He told us, and he was technically right. Uh, but all of us who said that we didn't expect Rashad Bateman to play in September, we were right as well. But it's, it's nice that he'll be back. Uh, we're, we're, and, and like I talked about before, just the, how open the passing game has been with just Hollywood and Sammy Watkins, it's going to be nice to insert Rashad Bateman in there too. So he And, and they're not just going to throw him out there. All right, you are out there all the time now. They're going to ease him back. Well, the expectation is that they ease him back in. Uh, so he should, he should help take this passing game to another level. And then with Miles Boykin, same thing. And with Miles Boykin, I really hope that this year – when he does get opportunity, I hope they. I don't hope that he is given opportunity. I hope that he really is given opportunity because that's been something that I feel like has been holding him back. Now, you, every receiver ain't gonna go off for hundred yards every game. It's not the expectation because I mean, even we see right now, Ravens have only had a few receivers. Tylen Wallace hasn't really been out there at all. But um, it's been Hollywood and Watkins, Duvernay and Prochet. They haven't really been involved much. Duvernay has been out there a lot. Um, he's been blocking and whatnot. He caught the touchdown yesterday, but he hasn't really been involved much as a receiver. Um, so with Miles Boykin, um, it, it'll be hard. It'll be hard, but it's important that he make the most of whatever opportunity he gets. And one thing about Miles Boykin that you got to respect, despite the lack of opportunities, despite uh, a lot of fans just talking down on him, despite all of that, you never hear this man say nothing negative. You never hear this man complain. You never see this man take to no social media and be like, oh, I hate this. I can't stand that. Never. Not once. Never. So shout out to Miles Boykin for that. And Miles Boykin, he can add another element, like I said, to the passing game, but also to the running game, too. Because now Ravens are getting back their biggest receiver. And their best blocking wide receiver. So the running game, it's been up and down. It's been up and down. But when you start to get guys like this back who have a huge impact on a running game, it can only get better. It can only get better. So these are some big returns this week, uh, practicing. And hopefully they can come off of IR this week, both of them. That's the news that we really want to hear. Um, but until then, we'll just keep on waiting it out and seeing how it goes. Uh, the Ravens, they, they do have spots available for them um, because they have not been at a 53-man roster all year. They, had, they, were, they were like at 51, then they were at 49 or something like that, but they, they haven't been at a 53-man roster. So they got spots like ready and available uh, if once they do uh, activate those guys, so we'll see how practice goes. We'll see what their health is uh, after this week of practice or during this week of practice. And if the Ravens feel like they're ready to go, boom, they can be activated because they are eligible. But just because they practice this week, it is not a guarantee that they're activated off of injury reserve. So that's just something to keep in mind. It's not a guarantee. If they practice in full though this week, and it's not like it's not all limited practice. If they like practice in full then the expectation would be that they be activated but again it's not it's not set in stone um so we'll just wait it out and see how it goes anyway team keep it clean appreciate y'all i love y'all and just like bateman and boykin no longer are i'm out